The NRU is currently in steady high power operation. All of the systems are in service, everything is operating. We've moved back into a production mode and harvesting isotopes and we're moving into our regular 28-day operating cycle. We have managed this process extremely carefully and professionally, brought in very high quality advisors and consultants and reviewers to ensure that every step that needed to be taken or should be taken was done. We're now in a situation where we've delivered the reactor back into service and it is going to continue to operate reliably. We operated high power for 23 days and then we shut down and through the five days that follow we do maintenance on the unit and then we bring it back up into operation all within that five days. We need to continue a maintenance and inspection program going forward so that this vessel continues to be in a state of perfect health for years going forward. We take it very seriously that uh, we have to have that machine up and running every day and that we need to take the steps to make sure that we've got the life cycle management, the maintenance procedures, all that's necessary to do that. I believe that Canadians want to see us operate reliably and to be a reliable source of isotopes going forward. I think the Canadian public has learned a lot about our operation through this whole process and they've recognized the importance of the whole isotope production stream. In addition to the isotope production for medical purposes, we also do a lot of research on materials. We are the main research reactor that provides all of the materials and radiochemistry testing for the Canadian nuclear industry. And beyond that, we also provide neutrons for the National Research Council and they have equipment set up here to do neutron scattering experiments. We have a commitment to the marketplace, we have a commitment to Canadians, and uh, we've invested heavily in making sure that the NRU is going to be as reliable as it has ever been. And that's job number one. This is a source of immense pride for everyone in ACL that has contributed to the NRU repair and return to service. We were given a very challenging repair to do and we showed that we have the expertise to create the tooling, to create the inspection techniques, to be able to do the repair, to do the inspection, to do all of the engineering analysis that had to be done, to bring together the chemistry, the design, the materials people, all applying their expertise in order to get this repair accomplished. It's really an amazing feat. And only in a company with the breadth of capability that you see in AECL in the nuclear industry can you achieve this kind of repair. I think there's a combination of pride of accomplishment and relief uh, in the sense that uh, we do feel that we've broken new ground in so many different ways with the technology, the procedures, the methodologies, everything that went into accomplishing this first of a kind weld repair that was done. And clearly the, uh, the other emotion is one that says this has been a long haul and uh, we're glad to be back to business as usual.